In this video, I will give you guys the best controller binds for claw players in Fortnite. Before we begin though, I do have to note that there's a bug in Fortnite right now in the bind section for PlayStation users. You can't put touchpad on anything except your map or whatever it is already on. There is currently no fix for this at the moment, so please do keep this in mind. I can't use touchpad, although I would probably use touchpad if I was able to. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Starting off with the PlayStation controllers, I recommend playing on double claw if you can. We're gonna have jump on X, crouch slide repair on right stick, sprint tactical sprint on the right side of our D-pad, reload slash use on square, and triangle for toggle pickaxe. Then for the building controls, we're going to obviously have toggle map on touchpad, then our switch mode on left stick to maximize our movement. Then for the editing controls, we're gonna have our edit building on circle, select on R2, confirm on L2, and reset on R1. Feel free to copy these binds and pause the video if you need to. I'm just quickly scrolling through these for time reasons since I don't want to waste too much of your time. For the Xbox controllers, we're going to go a different route. Bear with me here and listen as to why I chose these binds for Xbox. We're gonna start off with A for jump, right stick for crouch slide repair, then we're gonna have left stick for tactical sprint. Afterwards, we're gonna have reload slash use on one of the D-pad buttons, which doesn't really matter as much. I know it's uncomfortable at first, but other binds like edit and switch mode are much more important and they should be placed in the face buttons. Which actually brings me right onto X, which will be occupied by toggle pickaxe. For the building controls, we're going to have standard builder pro with our switch mode on B, then we're gonna put Y for edit building, RB select, RT reset, and LB to confirm. I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox controller if you don't have paddles. It's really hard to make up for the placement of the left thumbsticks in my opinion. However, that doesn't mean it's impossible to play on Xbox. These binds will still let you go far and allow you to dominate Fortnite. Claw is one of the most impactful ways a controller player can become competitive. I'm a controller player myself who uses mods on their controller like mouse click triggers, but I still do claw. It gives me assurance since I wouldn't need to have a specific controller at all times. I could just use a standard PS5 controller and still play the same. And other than that, it also gives me a competitive edge over my other opponents on controller, and it lets me go toe-to-toe -to -toe against mousing keyboard players. If you haven't already considered learning Claude, then please do because it will save your life. And for those people who are struggling to stay healthy while playing on Claw, I suggest doing some hand stretches like shown on the screen right now. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something new from this video, and if you did, then make sure to like and subscribe. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers, and I'm trying to grow as fast as possible. I'm going to be posting a video every single day, so make sure to watch out for your notifications. Otherwise, that's it for me. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.